<laughs> I would like to preface this video by saying that I know a lot about chainsaws. I grew up in Poland in a small town where we use chainsaws a lot. The chainsaw of choice for us has always been a Husqvarna, which looked something like this. It was obviously uh, a lot bigger and it sounded something like this. So obviously when I acquired a piece of land in uh, New Jersey, where I'm currently located, I decided to get myself a chainsaw and I got myself a Husqvarna chainsaw. However, every time I used it, it was very frustrating for me to get it started. There was definitely something wrong with the chainsaw. I, I, most of them work fine, but there was just a lot of maintenance that I just didn't want to do for something that I use around the house. So just like with my daily vehicle, which is an electric vehicle, my Tesla Model Y Performance, I decided to pull the trigger on a uh, battery powered chainsaw, which is this Ego or, or Ego, I don't know how you pronounce it, but the reason why I picked it up is it's got the biggest bar that I was able to find for a, a battery powered chainsaw. It's got the most amazing reviews. It's got a five amp hour uh, battery, which is good for about 300 big cuts. If you think about it, 300 is a lot. One. I mean, that, that's about maybe, I don't know, 30 minutes worth of work, which is, which is pretty good. I cannot use it until I fill it up with oil. And here, let me dump it here. Uh, obviously, there's no engine oil, but there's chain oil. So check this out. When we take out this bar protection, you can see the chain. This is where you fill up the oil and you actually have a nice chain oil window here that shows you if you're running low. Up here, you have a button which operates this LED light. Here, this, uh, this big knob adjusts the tension of the, of the chain on the bar. Uh, you have a button here that controls the actual chain. So you press this with your thumb and then you can, uh, you can get it started. Down here is where you snap the battery and that is really it. There's no pull cord or anything because you don't need to get it started. There's no hot exhaust pieces that you should be mindful of. But anyways, let's uh, fill it up with oil. And before you ask, you can use any bar oil that you choose. Okay. And look, as soon as we put it down, you see this little window? It tells you that it's now filled with oil. So we can go ahead and get it started. Getting it started is as easy as plugging in the battery. Safety first. Make sure the brake is on. The battery is fully charged. I charged it. And now, I don't know exactly how much my old chainsaw weight, but this one, and maybe I'll move this. This one approximately is the same weight as my Husqvarna 440. Pretty much pound for pound, I would say. So it's, uh, it's not exactly light, but it's also not exactly heavy. Anyways, to get it started, unplugging it, press the button, you ready? That is so cool. And the beauty of this chainsaw is as soon as, as long as your battery is charged, it starts every single time. And let's see how the brake works. Bam, see, cuts it off completely. Uh, let me show you now how the, uh, how the battery works or rather how the light works. It's got a couple of two, two different modes, low and high. I think this is absolutely, absolutely awesome. So you don't have to do that. See, I fooled you. Check this out. Okay. I know this is not the proper way of doing it, but I'm just demonstrating it. You ready? Oh my God, this is so cool. Ah, quite the position I'm at. You ready? See, it doesn't work because the brake is on. Bam. The light. Let's see. Do we put the light on? Light is on. Three, two, one. Wow. Oh my gosh. Check this out. So it cut effortlessly, effortless, effortlessly through this piece of oak.
brake. Okay. Right off the bat, this one feels a lot more torquey, and I guess the same thing with the electric vehicles. Uh, you get all the torque from zero RPM. This one, as soon as you start cutting, uh, it just it just feels like it's going at 100%. Even though you can still regulate the speed with uh, uh, with this uh, uh, button here. The battery is still after three cuts, as I would expect. Uh, looks like 100%. So let's move over to the forest. I've got a tree I want to down, a small one. Then we're gonna go to the front. Okay, welcome to what I call the tick heaven. This is the forest behind my house. It's uh, tick heaven and uh, poison ivy heaven, which is why I'm wearing this outfit. Don't ask me why. All right, let's get this started. So this is a rotten tree. So those tree huggers who are watching, don't judge me. Uh, we're gonna do it in a couple of steps. We're gonna cut it in two pieces so you can see what this looks like. You ready? Easy as pie. You see this? It's supposed to collapse that way. Three, two, one. <laughs> Let's get to the front. So this is the tree in question. It's dead, it's dry, it's been like this for, uh, for years. So it's time for me to cut it. I actually replanted five other trees on this island. So we're gonna cut this bad boy out. And of course, a proper attire is a must. All right, so we're gonna make this piece fall that way. Let's see. All right. <laughs> this worked out excellent. All right, so I'm gonna to try to cut it here and then I'm gonna do another cut as close to the bottom as possible. So, and it's on. What a nice way to cut, seriously. See how fast it goes? And now the stump. So normally after an ordeal like this, a shower would be mandatory, but because of the fact that this battery power chainsaw doesn't use any fuel, it doesn't produce any fumes. So I'm 100% clean, minus the ticks on my legs and obviously the cut marks all over my body. And because the other area doesn't have enough lighting, I feel like this area is gonna be better for you to experience the final cut of the day. Brake is off. Let's cut into pieces that are gonna be suitable for my fireplace, which is something like that. Ah. Beautiful. All right. Time to conclude this video. I have no idea why I'm using this ATV for kids. But anyways, this is the chainsaw uh, and you saw the number of cuts that we did. I didn't make any more cuts. So what you saw on video are all the cuts that we made and essentially the battery is still at 100% as I would expect. I mean, we did one, maybe like 10, 15 cuts. Uh, so the battery is still 100%. Uh, in terms of it getting dirty, yes, it gets dusty and dirty, but that's to be expected. Uh, this is what you get with a regular chain. So I've got to say, just by cutting uh, the amount of branches that I cut, as you saw in the video, I am super, super happy that I picked it and zero regrets. So if you're on the fence, I hope this video helps you decide not only just for any chainsaw, but this particular one. It feels like a proper chainsaw uh, in terms of power, as I mentioned, it feels a lot more torque here. It cuts extremely, extremely well. It's quiet, there are no fumes, uh, almost zero to no maintenance, except you have to worry about the chain uh, lubrication and also sharpening the chain. But if you're operating a chainsaw, you, you pretty much should know how to sharpen uh, a chain charge the battery 
and you're good, good to go. Oh yeah, I actually forgot about this piece. But anyways, you get the idea. Uh, if you want to purchase this chainsaw, I'm going to link it down in the description of uh, this video. Uh, and uh, let me know down in the comments what you thought of this video or, and also what you thought of this chainsaw. And now let's get started on this, but I'm not going to bore you with this because uh, there's going to be a lot of boring branch cutting here and we're going to use it for firewood. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Run, 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 run